So let's have a look at some example calculations. What is the pH of human blood when H plus is equal to 4.0 times 10 to the minus 8 moles per decimeter cubed? Okay, this is a molar uh, concentration. So let's see how we would work this out. First and foremost, we have our concentration of H plus. So relatively all of it's been done for us. All we need to now do is carry out the minus log to the base 10 operation on that concentration. And this gives us, as I said before, a result for of 7.40. That is the pH. Bear in mind that because we're talking about a logarithmic operation, there are no units. Okay? So if you hear the words pH, it is merely a number. Let's have a look at the second question. Let's see what would happen if we used a strong acid, hydrochloric acid, and we dissolved it up to make a solution of 0.02 molar, which is, as I said before, 0.02 moles per decimeter cubed. The concentration is given for us here as 0.020. So again, it's relatively easy to work out because, as I said before, strong acids are completely dissociated and therefore, the concentration that you add correlates directly, in this case, to one equivalent of H plus for every one equivalent of HCl added. So where we have a concentration of 0.020, we can do the negative log to the base 10 of that and give us a value of 1.70, generating a solution, which of course is a lot more acidic than 7.4, which we had in the earlier question. Now, let's look at it in a bit more depth. What happens if we have a concentration of hydrochloric acid and the pH is found to be 3.55? How would we work out the concentration of HCl that we actually added? What we then do is we take the inverse log of minus 3.55, reversing the equation and giving us a value of 2.82 times 10 to the minus 4 molar, the other unit for molar is moles per decimeter cubed, or moles per liter. The inverse log is represented as the antilog, or sometimes as 10 to the x on your calculator. Right, okay, let's have a look at another example calculation. The pH of a 0.015 molar aqueous solution of HNO2, nitrous acid, was measured as 2.63. What is the value of Ka and what is the value of pKa? Okay, so this requires um, a little bit more um, application because we have the concentration of HNO2. That is to say, the non-dissociated at the point of entry HNO2 nitrous acid. We have the pH, which as you should recall, correlates to the concentration of H plus in solution. And now we're being asked to work out what is the ratio between the two. What is the ratio between the starting material, the non-dissociated HNO2, and the H plus and NO2 minus? So let's first off start off by drawing this equilibrium. Remember, we said before, an arrow going in one direction and in the other suggests that we have a system which is in equilibrium. That is to say, at steady state, the concentrations of both sides are and they give, uh, remain the same as they did um, as they would do a little later on. So HNO2 goes to H plus and NO2 minus. And so what we need to do is put what we know about those particular um, components into an equation. So the concentrations are H plus is equal to NO2 minus. We make that assumption because we are assuming in this case that the majority of H plus comes from, NO2, from the, uh, the dissociation of HNO2, and also because with every dissociation of one equivalent of HNO2, we must therefore get one equivalent of H plus and one equivalent of NO2 minus. By doing this, we are able to say that the concentration of HNO2 actually within our equilibrium is given by our starting concentration of HNO2 minus the concentration of H plus. If the pH that we are measuring of this solution results in a concentration, as we can see here, of 0.00234 molar, it enables us to substitute uh, those values into the equation to determine Ka. 
If we look at that a bit more closely, what we are saying here is that the concentration of H plus equals the concentration of NO2 minus. Therefore, the product of this H, um, NO, NO2 minus and H plus must be equal to 0.00234 multiplied by itself. The remaining amount of non-dissociated um, HNO2 is given by our starting concentration minus the amount which has been converted, which we know from the concentration of H+. Therefore, the Ka for this particular equation, for this relatively weak acid, is given as 4.33 times 10 uh, to the minus 4. And the pKa as a consequence of the negative log to the base 10 is given, therefore, as 3.36. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.